ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann with the Afternoon Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 15th day of January. A cold rain getting set to unfold across Alabama in parts of the Deep South and parts of the Southeast United States, maybe with some icing issues. So let's go right to some Skycam images this afternoon. These, of course, are coming right off of the ABC 3340 Skycam network. We'll begin with a look at the view from Hamilton. Up in uh, northwest Alabama, we've got a uh, mostly sunny sky there, but as you go farther to the south, the clouds are a bit thicker. There's a look at the uh, Selma sky cam. That's the uh, Edmund Pettus Bridge across the Alabama River. Some mid-level clouds there, about twelve to 15,000 feet. And, of course, all of that water flows down here into the Gulf. And by the time you get down to Gulf Shores, the sky is mostly cloudy. Here's a look at the... Water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon, you can see those mid-level clouds mainly over the southern half of the state. North Alabama, mostly sunny. we got a trough over the northeast delivering the colder air. A, uh, an upper-level feature over Mexico that will be bringing the cold rain to the southeastern states through midweek. At the surface, temperatures are uh, pretty chilly. Uh, at midday today, we've got uh, low 40s up over north Alabama, but you go down south, you've got uh, upper 50s down there. Uh, near the Gulf Coast, but the temperatures are, are seasonal, if not a bit below average for this time of the year. And the really cold air continues up north, and uh, we've seen some readings up in Alaska colder than 60 below zero this morning Fahrenheit. Amazing. This is the expected precipitation across the country through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, and this is showing the better rains down there across the southern half of the state near the Gulf Coast, and amounts really diminish as you go farther north. In fact, by the time you get up to the shoals, barely enough to measure up there. And again, the axis might be a little farther north, but that's beginning to look pretty good. Here's a look at the uh, Day 2 snow outlook. Uh, this is for tomorrow and tomorrow night, the uh, better chance of snow in the southeast United States. Extreme north Georgia. We're talking mainly the mountains up into uh, the mountains of North Carolina, eastern Tennessee. And, again, that, that's where you're going to find your snow there. Now, icing issues, a po possibility. This is the freezing rain outlook. Extreme northeast Alabama through north Georgia, mainly north of Atlanta, over into the Piedmont region of South Carolina. And that's where some bridge icing could be an issue tomorrow night. So keep that in mind if you're traveling or maybe if you live there. And there's a look at our surface low track. And, again, if we had a little colder air in place, that would be a wonderful snowstorm set up here, but just not quite. And again, there could be some snowflakes mixed in with the evaporative cooling process tomorrow night in the evening, but temperatures will be above freezing. And as the evening progresses with the warm air advection, we think it will be mostly rain now. Uh, we'll go through modeling. This is where we are tomorrow at midday at 500 millibars. This is about 18,000 feet off the ground. Southwest flow aloft here. And when you see that, that typically means a surface storm. We've got it down there in the uh, northwestern Gulf. And uh, we could begin to see some rain tomorrow afternoon. We think initially it will evaporate before reaching the ground. And that evaporative cooling process is one of the reasons there could be a period of uh, uh, maybe some sleet or snowflakes mixed in with that rain initially over the uh, northern quarter of the state tomorrow evening. We'll go to uh, midnight tomorrow night. Again, we're looking at the GFS. The uh, surface low is down there just south of Pensacola. Pretty good rain here. But your uh, zero line at uh, 5,000 feet is up there near Nashville. So that is certainly representative of liquid precipitation. The NAM is almost identical. I mean, you talk about good model agreement. Doesn't get much better than that. So confidence is certainly high in the forecasting of this event now. So again, maybe a few ice pellets or snowflakes at the onset of this with the evaporative cooling. It's just all rain after that uh, tomorrow night. And we'll quickly take a look at the uh, precipitation type uh, graphic coming off the NAM. This is valid for midnight tomorrow night. And again, the, the yellow you see there, that is freezing rain. Extreme northeast Alabama, parts of east Tennessee, north Georgia. And that'll be that spot where there could be some uh, bridge icing. Now we'll go to uh, Thursday morning. The uh, rain begins to wind down. This is 6 o'clock Thursday morning as the surface low moves northeast. The, the zero-degree line at 850 at 5,000 feet is up there almost on the Kentucky border. So certainly no travel issues Thursday morning. We'll go to noon Thursday. The precipitation is out. 
and uh, will be a cloudy day and a cool day. Now, Friday, we've got the Arctic boundary beginning to drop south. Notice the uh, zero-degree line is uh, approaching Birmingham, and we got that, uh, again, precipitation down there in the Gulf. We'll go to midnight Friday night, and uh, we think all of that stays south. And wouldn't you know it, look at the, look at the zero-degree line near Montgomery and all of the rain just south of there. Now, if we do see any showers Friday night, there's no doubt with that look, it's going to be snow showers with the Arctic air blast coming in here. You can see that uh, minus 30 up there at 8.50 over Canada. This is very, very cold air. So again, Friday, it looks like most of the rain will stay down across the southern part of the state. I guess we might mention a small chance of a shower here. Saturday starting off the weekend, that is cold. Check out the surface look. <laughs> Yikes, Those, the thickness packing is amazing. I'm telling you, we're going to have a hard time getting above the freezing mark on Saturday with a howling wind. The wind chill will be probably in the single digits at times. And then uh, Sunday, the uh, winds will be lighter. We should drop down in the teens early Sunday morning. We're using 18 as an average low for Birmingham. Of course, the colder valleys will be lower than that. Monday of next week, here comes the next wave. That's suggesting some snow from Tulsa North to Kansas City and Wichita and St. Louis. And really, Tuesday, the uh, GFS kind of, uh, the thing kind of fizzles. We've seen some pretty good looks with rain, and I, I'm not so sure this is right. I think we do have a good chance of rain Monday night or Tuesday of next week, and more than likely, it would be just rain at this point. And then Wednesday, again, we've still got a southwest flow aloft here. That looks relatively wet, and, and Thursday of next week looks really wet. And again, that's a uh, very cold air mass feeding in from the north. And somebody with that kind of look could see some icing issues in the northern periphery of that. And we'll deal with that as we get closer, but just something to think about. All of these systems were flirting with winter weather problems. And at the uh, 31st, uh, this is pure voodoo out here. End of the cycle, end of the month. Big trough axis west of here, big storm lifting north of here, big plunge of cold air, 1,044 millibar high. But again, that's kind of voodoo. And by the way, I forgot to throw this in. This is a look at Saturday's chart off the European. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's cold. I mean, I, I'm seeing some temperatures up there in Canada almost down to minus 40 Celsius uh, at 850. And that's a 1,030 millibar high that is uh, over Missouri. I'm telling you, Saturday looks really, really cold. Now, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.